this video, we are comparing averages. Mr. Beach had six tests done throughout the term and we got the results from two students in his class, Patrick and Webster. Now, Patrick's results are up here on the board. Now, first of all, we're going to look at the range of Patrick's results. Now, to get the range, we're going to take away the smallest value away from the highest. So, the highest value was 8, and we're going to take away the smallest, which was 5, which would leave Patrick's range as 3. Now to find the mode, the mode is the most common value. The most common value in this case is 8 because it occurred 3 times. So the first average or mode in this case is in fact 8. find the median. The median is the middle result. Now to find the middle result we need to put the results in order from smallest to largest. So we're going to start with 5, then 6, then 7, then the 3 8. To find the middle we cancel one out from either end until we get to the centre. Take away the 6 and the 8 and if you're left with 2 it's halfway between that number which is 7.5. Finally, to find the mean, we add up all the scores and we divide it by how many results there are. So we start with 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 6 is 19, plus 7 is 26, plus 8 is 34, and plus 8 again is 42. So we're going to divide it by how many results, which is 6, which gives the mean as 7. Moving on to Webster. Now his highest result is 9 and again we're going to take away the smallest which was 3 which leaves the range of his data as 6. To find the mode once again we're going to find the most common result which is 6. So the mode is 6. The median again is the middle result so we put it in order 3, 5, 6, 6 seven and nine and again we cancel one off from either end until we get into the center take the five and the seven if you're left with the same number in the center the mean the mean will be six finally the mean again add up all the results five plus three is eight plus six is fourteen plus nine is twenty three plus six is twenty nine and plus seven is thirty six and we're going to divide it by how many results. Again, that's 6. So the mean is 6. Now to make some comparisons, there are a lot of things you can look at, but if you can compare individual, individual 
uh, averages, you can look at which is the better performer. So if we look at the mode, Patrick's is eight, Webster's is six, the median, Patrick's is 7.5, and again, Webster's is six, the mean, Patrick's is seven, and Webster's is again six. So you can conclude that Patrick, in this case, would be the better performing student.